Two words. Road trip. Gotta have a noodle. And don't worry, I'm bringing the good stuff. I got swimsuit girl, multiple bikinis, bass bikinis, road trip. Yeah. Hashtag winning. <laughs> Gotta check this place out. This is the Waterloo Lodge. It is absolutely killer. Big screen, full kitchen. We have two bedrooms right there and there. You get a laundry. It's actually really pretty looking too. Laundry, full bathroom. It's just gorgeous. And the other thing is, straight outside, there's like a grill station and there's a little fire pit. So you can go sit at the fire pits right over there, all gas driven. And then there's a little grill station and check this out for the boat. I don't got the boat fully backed up, but yeah, full boat backing and plug-in. That's pretty cool. Hello. There's like three of them right there. There's another one. They're not super stacked. Kind of right on the like, stumps right there. Here's a little group. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Just a little conglomeration, if you will. See them there? It's just right along this, this ledge break right here. And these are a bunch of white bass, and you know that because they're super vertical. But don't let that deter you. That can mean that there's, there's other bass bass around. It's the bass bass we're looking for. Swimsuit girl greeting. Unbelievable fish to catch, too much clothes on. Ugh. Oh dear, that's a good one. That's a good one. Swimsuit girl got out of the boat. Give me my worm back, bruh. And uh, I moved five feet up and she ate it. That's a three, four pounder right there. Hopefully it don't have it too deep because he had it for a, a quick minute. That's, that's a nice one. <laughs> Be a better one. Yep. Right under the boats. On there. Oh, Nico rig strikes again. Don't do it, 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 don't do it. Gotcha. Nice little. Two and a half, three pounder. Little Nico Ray. Ooh, angry. So here's what's kind of happening to recap that. You can see I got a bunch of marks on my map all along this line. Basically, it's it's just a giant ridge that stretches over the sort of a secondary creek on the lake. But what's kind of interesting with some of these secondary things is the fish tend to move around a lot more. So you'll find them in one place one day, and then you'll find them 50, 60 yards down another day, which can suck, but it's a good thing when you're on highly pressured waters because these fish move around and having to refine them, oftentimes guys will do exactly like that. Well, they go sit on the same spot they caught them last week and they're just they're not there they shifted ever so slightly you know they're still in the area they're still around but you got to readjust so when i'm fishing this nico rig make a long cast line up your fish i got my fish lined up you can see them two stop signs stop there's fish long cast i got a 610 ks2 um it's a medium action pretty light got 14 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon and then I got an eighth ounce in that worm to get down to about anywhere from like 16 to about 20 foot. And then you can see I'm kind of shaking my rod tip. There's very little dragging when I do this on ledges. I kind of let the, the current just sort of sweep the bait down. And I'll just kind of on semi slack line, it's not taut, it's not slack. 
it's just kind of, it's got a little bit of a bow in it. I'll just shake that bait using my rod tip. That's why you want kind of a little bit faster um, spinning rod, just so you can kind of snap it a little bit. But I'll just shake that thing, and basically what it's doing is it's just kind of wacky rigging along the bottom, maybe drifting a little bit with the current, but it's very light, so when the fish picks it up, it's not ten, it won't tend to drop it very quickly. Um, but it's a real simple retrieve. The, the bite is usually either tick, 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 or just wait. Like you, you just feel weight on the end, you reel down, you let that braid do its work, and you just kind of sweeping hook set or you reel hook set. It's very, it's very simple, and it's an, basically an open hook presentation, so you don't miss a lot of fish. That's another good one on the Nico again. I just had to, it's funny how you have to readjust with these guys. Oh no, it's just a little guy who's tugging me around. But you got my worms. Why you gotta take my worms, bro? But you gotta readjust, because these fish, once you catch one or two, they move all around. So I can even show you and let her go real quick. You can see there's, there's a group of white bass right there. We were up about 20 feet, and you can see them sometimes on the, the active target, and that's why it's kind of so useful because you can see how when you catch one, they shift over or they shift right or they shift back. And then you can adjust your cast accordingly without actually driving over to rescan them. You got a noodle? What are you gonna do with that noodle? A noodle little, oh, don't, this is, you're just scaring the fish away. They're hard to get the bite, but there's some better ones down there. I ain't gonna go nowhere. That's a freaking giant, dude. That's a big, big one. He just sat on it. Stay on, don't do that. Got the Nico rig again, guys. And that is a monster. And I don't have no net, but I do have swimsuit girl. Uh-oh. Nope, I just want you to hang out. That's a five, six pounder right there. No bite, just sat on it. We're just shaking this thing here with the 610 KS2, and I hope it does not come off because it is not a big hook. But I caught like a three pounder because I moved up on them, and so I basically I reset the boat and then I spot locked right where that fish bit, so I was kind of in the casting range. That's a good one. Come here. Don't. Ha ha, gotcha. Yeah, it's about four pounder. Kind of skinny though, but that's a good one. Well, that was a good one. And finesse, like presentations, seem to be the key thus far on our trip. Of course, you get on that bent rod pattern and then you get guys who just like literally sit next to you like that. But that, that's a part of the game. Let's get this fish released. And I'll tell you a little bit about how I caught her. <laughs> that's a solid one. I wish I had a little more meat on you though. I knew you were big when I caught you. <laughs> Back down where you live. That's a better one. Was not expecting that. Stab of the throne order. Dude. Some good ones down there. <laughs> We're in a worm battle. <laughs> Day one's in the books. So, uh, achieved exactly what I wanted to. Idled around. What, here's what's kind of interesting. Yeah, Swimsuit Girl has all these boys texting her as I throw worms at her. I probably shouldn't do that. So, we didn't achieve. God! We didn't achieve full bikini. And, and there's very good reason, but we'll get. 
Oh no, just the... okay. Yeah, she's trying to. That's and that's what actually caught most of the fish. Uh, a Nico rig finesse fishing. The water kind of blew out. Uh, there was some rain, so we got some color in the water. I'm not a huge fan of that. I want it to get clear. I want them to get deep because I think I can catch them a little bit better than most people when they're beyond say like. 20, 25 foot. Uh, it's a little tricky to catch them that deep, but uh, it seems like the cutoff guys will look in 20 to 25, but when it starts getting that deep and maybe a little bit deeper, it seems like you can find some isolated schools to hit on. But when the water looks like this and it's kind of dingy and, and green, they're not gonna get down there. So day one's in the books. Uh, Nico rig was really hot. I uh, had a few bites on a swim bait as well as um, a scrounger head. But it really didn't do much. We caught some pretty good fish, actually. Super slow fishing that Nico. I mean, shaking it in place off a secondary ledge. Interestingly enough, when you get these rain events, the main lake tends to dirty up, but some of the secondary stuff, you get back in some of these pockets like that right there or back over there, um, or on these secondary creeks, the, the water retains kind of a, a decent clarity or actually gets kind of a good stain. And that's exactly what happened. They weren't easy to catch, but we caught like a four pounder a couple three pounders and probably should have sat on that for the rest of the day but we're going to see what we can do tomorrow see if we can get her to get down to full bikini that's kind of the goal and it's going to be a process day by day we're going to learn a bit i'm going to show you with you kind of what i'm thinking and the process i'm going through and hopefully as this thing wraps up we're going to catch a big make sure to hit that like and subscribe button but we are out for day one hey.